Let's meet the starters for this division for two-year-old pacing. Colts and Geldings. Number one, Jealous Clown, owned by Jay DeLong of Clinton, Wisconsin. He is the trainer, Tom Bussey, the driver. Two is Big Hearted Nate, owned by Nate Scholler of Mayfield, Kentucky, trained by Irvin Miller with Andy Miller in the bike. Three is Johnny C, owned by Steve Newcomb and Terry Duffy of Chicago and Lamont, trained by Tex Moach, the driver, Eric Ledford. Four is Conspicuous Absence, owned by Brian Penske Stable, Incorporated of Downers Grove, owned also by Tim Town, Brian Penske trains, and Dean McGee will drive. Number five, Jack-O-Lantern, owned by David Snyder, by Beulah Camp, by Charles Helleni, and by Carl Kingery, Mark Kingery, trained by David Snyder, Dave McGee in the bike. Number six is Major McIntosh, owned by Mark Franzen of Big Rock, and by Willard Nelson of Morrison, trained by Mark Franzen with Tony Morgan in the bike. Seven is Fox Valley Fox, owned by Fox Valley Standard Breast of Sherman, trained by Tony Alanya, the driver Dale Heitman. And number eight is Eric Anthony owned by Purpura Racing Stables and Joseph Romano of Wayne, Illinois with Ronnie Roberts, the trainer, and John Roberts, the driver. Post time on race 13 is three minutes, three minutes away. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Eric Anthony goes out for the early lead. Big hearted Nate is there. Jealous Clown down toward the inside, followed by Johnny C heading into the first turn. Conspicuous absence is off stride. Dean McGee quickly gathers him back up and gets him settled down, and he is still right there with the field, but he is next to last. Big hearted Nate leads Eric Anthony. Jealous Clown goes third, and then Johnny C, who is fourth toward the inside. Major McIntosh fifth. Conspicuous absence sixth on the outside and 27 and 2. He's eight lengths off the lead and now here comes Johnny C after that opening quarter mile. Johnny C is moving up from third to second and Johnny C gets the lead. Major McIntosh comes with him on the outside towards second as big hearted Nate is shuffled to third. Jealous Clown moving up to challenge for the fourth spot on the outside as the field races past the half mile mark. Field being led still as they race that way only for a moment by Johnny C with Major McIntosh putting ahead in front, the half in 55 and 3. And now Big Hearted Nate third, Jealous Clown fourth, Eric Anthony fifth, Conspicuous Absence sixth on the turn, then Fox Valley Fox in seventh, and finally Jack-O-Lantern, who finds himself eighth and last, midway on the final turn. Jealous Clown keeps inching forward, challenging Major McIntosh for the lead now at the three-quarter mile mark. And Conspicuous Absence, who made that break early, has caught the leaders. He's now third, a length and a half off the lead of Major McIntosh off three quarters and 125 and three. Conspicuous absence angles wide off the turn. Johnny C finds himself third. Jealous Clown could not keep up. Final eighth mile. Major McIntosh by a widening three length margin. Johnny C is second. Big hearted Nate third. Then conspicuous absence. It is Major McIntosh. He's cruising here. Major McIntosh wins it by two and a half. Johnny C was second by a long neck over big hearted Nate third. The mile 153 flat. Result is official for race 13, and folks, there's quite a story behind the two-year-old pacer that you just saw win this race. When Mark Franzen and his partners went to the sales last year, <laughs> they uh, looked at a couple of colts in the catalog, and they bought this fella, but the only problem was when they got him home, they found out they had the wrong horse because there was a uh, mix-up involving uh, a pedigree and DNA testing and all of that. And to make a long story short, uh, when they got this colt home, it was not the colt they thought they had bought based on the pedigree in the catalog. But I believe that Mark liked him. A deal was worked out. Mark kept him. Pays off today, folks. 153 flat, tying the fastest mile of the year by an Illinois-bred two-year-old Major McIntosh. Mark is not only the trainer, but also the co-owner of this Armbro McIntosh Colt from Raina's Ore, co-owned by Willard Nelson of Morrison, Illinois, bred by Fairmeadow Farm of Altamont, and we'll get a word with the winner in just a moment. We'll try to talk to Mark Franzen, Tony Morgan with the winning drive, as this is a new lifetime record by nearly five full seconds for this Colt, and it is official, the 6-3 exacta pays $17.80.
been quite a uh, wild and rocky road with this Colt, but now that everything has been straightened out, he comes home with a 153 victory. Are you are you glad this is the one you got? Uh, yeah, I'm real glad I ended up with this one. I, I wanted the other page, but I'll, I guess I'll settle with this pedigree. <laughs> well, let's ask you this. Now, this is a Colt who, uh, like a lot of the two-year-olds we've seen today, he's only made, this was his fourth lifetime start. You've brought him on kind of nice and easy. Why? Well, this Colt uh, really, about two months ago, really wasn't that good, and uh, we we took our time with him. His last start was very impressive. He got home real big against a nice group of Colts, so uh, he's come along well. And congratulations on the win. Thank you, Kurt. That's trainer and co-owner Mark Franzen, folks. We'll have the rundown next.